動き Thank you.
Bonsoir. Morning. Afternoon. Evening. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to uh, the Throne Top Sands campaign. If you're new, hi. Welcome aboard. If you're old, um, hope you've got your tickets ready. Uh, and if you're playing, hi. Um, uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I am... Oh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, AJ, uh, Pastor, uh, Dan... And uh, Ben, thank you for the nine bits. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, Ben, I pinged you in the Discord about the um, the music. So if you want to check that, you can over there. Uh, it's on. It is on the Discord. Um, where are we? So I'll say hello to everyone. Hello, Ronnie. How you doing? Look at the, all these beautiful beans. The fan art. The fan art's stunning. Yeah, like we've got a lot of amazing artists have contributed with posters and just designs and just memes. And it's really cool having them be compiled on this. I'm excited to like, get more. <laughs> it was actually funny because I was we've got too much fan art. Because like, I was crediting as much as I could before we could before we uh, had to go live. Um, but I still got to credit all the posters. Um, the posters are actually part of this contest that we run where like uh, it adds to the world building. And we're hoping to run that soon um, in the new... Oh, also we have a hype train coming on, which is pretty cool. Thank you guys for... Uh... <laughs> Trying, supporting the stream enough to get hype, hype train going. It's really appreciated. Hello, Beth. I said hello, Ben. Hi, RPG Architect. How you doing? Also, yeah, there's the, the Pokemon game, um, Pokemon community game will be going on as we uh, play as well. So feel free to play, be a part of that and play. Um, hi, Sam. Hi, Sir Hawk. How you doing? How is your morning or your day? Where are we? Oh, Brian. Hello. Sorry, Jaharak. How you doing? There was the Discord audio. Hopefully that's uh, fixed. I hope I hope it's fixed. I think it's fixed. Sorry about that. I, I was surprised. I couldn't hear it on my side, but it should be fine. But yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying the music, Ben. I I really like this playlist. Where are we? Oh, hello. Oh wow. Oh, thank you for thank you for the, the sub, Ben, and thank you for the one bit, Sophie. Oh, fishy. Thank you for the nine bits. Hello. Sorry, like, look at my, I don't get stream alerts, so I don't hear it, but, like, thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, where are we? Oh, thank you for the two bits, Sophie, and thank you for the five bits as well, Fishy. Also, thank you for some of my pasta. I hope you enjoy your lurk. I would say if I didn't uh, notice that she rolled in that 20 on lurk. Oh, thank you for the 20 bits as well, Ben. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hello, AJ. Hello, Georgia. Who, I'm on, who are we missing? Bonsoir. Hi, Graham. How you doing? Oh, hi. I recognize... Oh, wow. Wow. Hi. Oh, don't... Ben. But that voice is so true. <laughs> oh, thank you for the 100 bits, Dan. Where are we? Um, the Messiah is here. Wow. Um, thank you for the whole selfie as well. Uh, hi, Larkin. How you doing? I'm collecting the badges. You're collecting the badges? What badges? What badges are you collecting? Oh, the, what, the Pokemon badges? I don't know what's going on, sorry. <laughs> Soon you'll like the Twitch League once you collect all 69 badges. Oh. Who are the gym leaders, Sam? I'm doing good coding way. No worries, you, you enjoy your coding. Always well, I'm glad, Brian. Oh, fishy hello again. <laughs> right. Oh, goodness. Thank you for the two gifted subs, uh, subs uh, Ben. Goodness. <laughs> Scared me. Where are we? And I've caught up. I'm full of soup and killing goblins. I'm glad. What, what you uh, what are you making soup in, and what are you killing zo goblins in? Goblins. Um, and thank you for the 200 bit stand as well. Um, so yeah, uh, today what we've got planned is we're gonna we're gonna play D and D, obviously. Um, last session, the players uh, had made their way to Isoto to uh, try find some answers to fill the little world hole situation that they've uh, they've stumbled upon uh, at the beginning of the campaign. If you are new to the campaign and you want to uh, catch up on it after this session or, or watch the VOD later on, you can um, check it out on YouTube, D&D, that's it. I'm, I'm sorry, Graham. I'm so sorry. No art today. Oh, hey, Ethan, how you doing? Now we need the bits of the VOP and cheer badges. Soon, AJ. But thank you, AJ, for wanting to get the badges because it means the world to me that you want to support my stream. Thank you. I roll soup and terraria goblins. Oh, what kind of soup? Yo, don't talk about goblins like that. <laughs> oh yeah, don't. He'll, he might start a war with you. Um, at equilibrium, the world achieved 69%. Oh, oh shit, nice. Thank you for the level 2 hype train. Wow. 
Nice. <laughs> Brother, wait, may we have some soup? Um, yeah, so like they've, they're filling the hole. They've reached Isoto. Um, we're also, we've got some cool stuff happening at, during the midpoint stream as well. Uh, that being, we are going to announce the uh, the Dice Dysona giveaway uh, winners later on tonight. We've um, we've had 101 entries, so we're gonna roll, get you guys to roll on uh, on that one later on. And we have um, we picked our two uh, winners of the um, for the art entries, and so that's exciting. Um, and what else is there that I was gonna mention? I can't remember um but there's um there was also some other bit of news um that's gonna bring us back down just a bit um this will be uh sophie uh, who plays la sarah shows uh, last session uh for a while um so that'll explain why at some point we might um be upset or some stuff might um might go a certain way um so that, uh that will and we'll be taking a break after that scene happens. So yes, just so that you guys um, are aware of, this, of what will happen at that point. But that doesn't mean uh, Lucera won't be coming back because there is, she will be available to come back. Let's all give her a proper sense. Exactly, Dan, exactly. Um, but yeah, let me see, is it, what was, is there anything else I need to do a sound off on? I don't think so. But yeah, other than that, Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for getting the hype train going before we start. Um, thank you. Hope you enjoy more of the music. We're gonna we're gonna get ourselves ready again. Uh, so it'll be another maybe five ten minutes, and then we'll get into the theme song and the voiceovers, and then we'll start the session. And I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoy the show. Oh, uh, also, um, there are channel point interactions that like may or may not come into play this session, but um, we're playing with some ideas. They they're nothing uh, nothing too scary, but just something to give you guys ways to um, partake in the stream with us. But yeah, see you guys soon.
Hi there, my name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music makes people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means Little Seer with Stars in Her Eyes, and it was given to me because I was born with a connection to spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm travelling with my friend Lucera. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time. And if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lucera Sho, and I'm a pardon in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Ronsla. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. first memories of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document a plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the light of the garden slowly reach inside of me terror at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence, and having taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose, and to whom I owe my existence, thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragment itself. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me, and I know they'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life.
Hello, everyone. Let me just do this. <laughs> oh just Hello, everyone. Bonsoir. <laughs> it's the Rocky thing. Yeah, no, because no, <laughs> specific request. As um. Oh, that's good timing. Yeah. yeah that, oh, that, the Rocky. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was like, I, I forgot to mention earlier, like, yeah, like, since, like, because Rocky is currently on hiatus from the stream as well, so he's, uh, he's, he's asked us to, um, put his little, his little rock, Michael, as, uh, his avatar for today. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on you guys and then go over here. So, yeah, um, last session, you guys were in Isoto. You guys... We yeah, I've remade the map because I I know this. I strained last oh. session. But this looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Definitely doesn't hurt me. Yeah. Wait, is I still an island? I still an island, yeah, off the coast, just off the coast of Shredo, but so it still counts as the, main, the mainland. Oh yeah, because I remember the bridge thing. Yeah, there's ice and bridge. My cannon for some reason was like a bridge over. Don't ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. That's that's all it is. I'm gonna put the ice tone music on. Um, the monsters manual. Yes, as yeah, uh, I shall explain in a second. Um, but yeah, so you guys, last session you ended on Lone Eco's birthday. Um, you ended with Loniko receiving her gift of a crystallized spider lily with that were never held and thought of. Um, it reminds, uh, it goes through various uh, memories that the rest of the party had um, that they poured into the crystal. Um, so Loniko, whenever she looked at it, she she would Happy um, birthday. remember the parties. <laughs> <laughs> She's fifteen now. She is. Where's Isotai? 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 They grow up so fast. They really do. It's almost like <laughs> it's just been three days. <laughs> Where's the Isotope place? Sorry, I'm trying to find the place I have for the city. Oh, there it is. Um, but yeah. So like you had like you essentially threw a little pizza party for Loniko. Um. But then uh, after you guys like finished up, uh, Shiki uh, appeared at your door, and uh, she didn't seem she wasn't doing um, she wasn't uh, doing any Shiki for any everyone who uh, is a tiny little uh, Shiba Inu that's uh, a mossy green with a um, with a like a pale uh, yellow undercoat, um, and she was carrying a little bundle with a little paw print on it. Um, that had just like a, uh, like when she just pops it at your feet, Lonico, it just has like some orange peel and, um, uh, some, uh, dried lavender and some tea bags. Um, but she just essentially put, she curled up, um, on, on your bed and, um, basically, uh, let you guys do as you please. And she just stayed in your, um, uh, in your room that you, you guys are staying at in the adventures room, which is the adventures guild. Um, but you guys are staying in the, um, the uh, non-adventurous uh, quarters but um the day like the evening passes over and you guys wake up to uh you guys wake up to a fine morning autumn morning in isoto city uh you get the sun just um having peer, uh, causing some light to like just shine through uh the, w uh the window that you guys have um seeing out uh into the sea where you can see just a bunch of skyscrapers with neon signs and um lots of glass lots of glass <laughs> that like just all glare um off the uh the morning sun but yeah you guys gonna, like, what are you guys doing i'm like all oh, the sun <laughs> it's blinding <gasps> Yeah, like, Lo-Fi Boy so would sorry. actually try to angle himself with, like, his flowers and everything um, in a cool angle or, like, optimal photosynthesis. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Shiki, she, um... She, she, she doesn't, uh... She, she looks very lazily at, like, everyone and she still sits on, um, Loniko's bed uh, as you guys hear a knocking on the door. Um... I'll go answer it. Um, Lazara goes up to answer the door. Uh, when you, hello? When you open, you see a uh, tiefling man in a uh, fine suit that has the uh, logo of the adventurer's uh, roots 
a um, dragon on a plate of green leaves. Um, and he's holding a tray with a uh, map and a bunch of business cards uh, strewn, strewn over the uh, the tray. And he just hands it over to you, Lysera. Um Here's, here's uh, your map of the city, uh, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. We'll take a look at this. Uh, no is, is it got all the places? Yeah, it, it basically has all of... Um, has all the st all the areas listed on them. Like the map that they give you is the map that you're seeing right now. Um, breakfast right. is being served at the moment, but you are allowed to um, you you are allowed to re uh, receive your breakfast at any time of the day. Uh, breakfast is um, till uh, nine p.m. Um, hopefully, if you uh, want to search the city or look around, see these uh, these spots here that are advertised by the guild may may um, may service you. And um, if there's anything I can help you with, uh, please do uh, let me know at the desk. And then he bows and then leaves. Before he can let you get in another word. Before he lets you get in a word. <laughs> oh. Um, Alright. Uh, guys, we've got a map and business cards? What, what are these business cards? Say? There's business cards. So like, there's like, um, like you, you see Ice Top Prosthetics, Ella Shaw Casino. Uh, Raiju skates, Twist's confectionery, so literally everything that you can see on the map that like isn't like a um, like a government building or something that like services the city is like being advertised through these business cards, like oh, even gold colors groceries fun. and stuff like that. Like, like they and they've even got like little mentions of the discounts that the Adventurers Guild members get. Huh. Oh, cool. That is pretty cool. Um, definitely want to use one of those at some point. Um. All right. Yeah. Is so where the veil is on there, so we can go break Rocky out. <laughs> I mean, sure. does it show where they would maybe take someone who was wrongly accused of bad things? Uh, There's no uh, here. Let's have a look. There isn't any uh, mention of like jails or anything, but there is the Eureka station, uh, Yuriki station, which is the guard station. That is. We could start with the guard station then. Over here. It's just down the road, actually. Uh, there is something though, in terms of um, title, um, we aren't adventurers, right? No, you're not. We're you not guys are just staying in the guest section. Hmm. Uh, we become adventurers? We can get I a believe, membership. <laughs> I believe the, um, the receptionist that met you when you guys came did mention that you guys can join the guild. What does they right. do? What are the benefits? I mean, there's like economical benefits based on these business cards and sales, rebates, whatever. You could, uh. Oh, like, if. Sorry, guys. Stuff? Like, what do we do? What is it? Oh, it seems like lots like of club? fun things. <laughs> oh. Relaxation, okay. you know. <laughs> I think, Primera, the, the idea is that, you know, like, your birth certificate? Yeah, what about it? Um, so, it's kind of like that, but recognized by a lot of people, which I think helps you move around, get around, and say, oh, look, this is... My serial code, uh, I oh. mean, status in society, and, um, and get people... out jail free card? Okay, uh, so I won't have to take out my leaves anymore. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I, we could do that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could do both, but oh. that's up to you. Wait, I thought we were talking about, like, the leaves. I think what uh, Lopo was trying to say is like, it's the um, well, like bit what um, like an adventure guild membership means. I think because <laughs> I, I, I have no yeah. I have no clue what you're trying to say as well. <laughs> no, no, that's what I, I was trying yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. to say what I thought that it meant, but like I, I don't know. I think no, no, no. I agree. I agree. I agree with both because. Uh, I mean, it might be worth getting one for getting around this place because we definitely need the help. 
Hmm. And if we're in Ventress Guild, then when we're investigating the um, uh, the World Weave, it would make sense uh, that we're, we're the ones doing it if we've got that kind of pass, and it, sh- it should give us a bit of right of way. Uh, That's what I believe. When you guys are doing uh, that, you just see Shiki yawn, but you notice she makes no noise. When I, like even if she like, tries to bark or anything, no noise comes out of her. She doesn't even squeak. She don't. She, no noise. <laughs> even when like you, even when she walks around and like she's walking around your room, you don't even hear like little pat pats of her feet. Little pat pats. Can I just be like? Okay, I will pat pat for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I just be like sitting next to the Shiki when she's? Yeah. She she like, she lingers like, around you, low. We could put a <laughs> bell on her. Ah. Maybe we should ask okay. first. Hello, little pup. Yeah. Can we put the bell on you? She smiles at you and then nods. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can make you a big ball. You'd be so beautiful. Okay. Um, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have that I can make a big ball? ball oh, I have a bow. Um, I have a. She I've takes off one of her um, horn, horn bow ribbons. Mm. What, about, what about this? It's got oh, a that would She smiles at it and then she bites it. Well, she doesn't bite it. She like, just like. <laughs> Holds it in her mouth. No, you have to put it on your, on on your, with the okay. She just shakes her head and then just like it plops it at your feet, Primera. No, you have to put it on you. She shows like, like oh. her paws can't do that. Do that. She just starts playing with it with her paws. So okay, I want to put it around her neck so she looks like a beautiful pup. Would you like a bell on that? <laughs> Roll some ribbons hand for me. and bells. Primera. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hopefully, the dice roll on screen when you do as well, because like I've I've added allowed three D dice oh, rolls. Ah! So it should hopefully roll. You guys don't need to see it, but like I'll see it, so that's fine. Ah. Oh, that's no. Make me cry. <laughs> oh yes, let's go. Should I like grab it and throw it? Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so like, yeah, you you grab the bow and you just tie it around Shiki's um, Shiki's neck, and you notice that like she doesn't um, like her fur is very like soft. It's almost as if like it's air with how soft it is. And uh, but you tie it around her, and like it it looks to fit around her very nicely. And did you want to attach the little bow? I mean, the little bell. Sorry. Yeah. Sure. She jingles it happily. <laughs> oh, oh, I made cheek. <laughs> Can I this is what we need. Egg? I would like to give her some snacks. You give us snacks? What snacks do you have to give? Uh, do we have any leftover pizza? We could smuggle the you breakfast. Would, yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't do that because that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you allowed to have people food? She shakes I her won't head. She nods her I head. I won't tell if you won't tell. She nods her head. <laughs> I'm sure bacon can work. Yeah, I'm gonna give her some, some pizza. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she starts eating the bag of apple. Uh, Lofiber just turns to the map and studies it more because he can't eat, so. Like, food talk is like talking about the weather, which actually he cares about. <laughs> 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 Sense. Let's see. Wait, I okay. mean, I could dissolve some crust in water for you. That would be some good yeast for your plants. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice food. Um, you know, that is. I've never thought of using food that way. But it, I've used yeast before. Uh, you have to teach me, Pymer, because I'm not I'm not accustomed to um, consumption. Oh, uh, would you put it in water? Yeah, make it like smoothie, and then just you know uh, pour it. That, that, that's oh, I don't like that. But you know that could work. That could definitely work. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm gonna baby bird it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you pouring water? That would help. On the- if we Either wanted to become part of the Adventurers Guild, where would we go? Uh, they did mention they yeah. told us we could. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the receptionist mentioned that you could join the guild by asking. Uh, mm. uh, 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 
Uh, was it Lefort? <laughs> um, it just, I've been looking at the map. There's the Kasakawa Mecha Company walk in. Um, I, I don't know when, but I, I, I think I want to go there eventually. Or, or maybe not. Maybe I want to avoid going there. I'm not sure. Well, we could totally go Is there. That... And we could get you some cool stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Just remember the gate last time, I mean yesterday, when, um, like, they said, like, oh, are you okay? Maybe you need a reboot. Oh, um, uh, yeah. So, yeah. We go I don't think it'd be a good idea. It's a, either a place I really want to go, or really don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, we could go scope it out. Like, if you stay, we you know... Mm. Behind, like just to make sure it's safe first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could get Rocky and make him a, a distraction for this. <laughs> Rocky's gone. Distraction must we have yeah. a scoping out. Mm. Well, first things first, we all agreed we would uh, try and find out There's how to fix the world. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Try to find what? We did, we did. We'll uh, try and let's... find a way to to fix the world, Weave. And so I guess we could go ask if we can join the Adventurers Guild at reception, and then I go. Where where are we going to find? Uh, I'm not um, sure. We should decide now. Should we go? Um, because there looks like there's a few places we could go. Um, since like the world weave is very unusual. Mm. I'm not sure if we should go to like the police station or or um try the department and... of magical verification. They sound That's weird. what I was thinking. But I think there was a wizard school somewhere uh, that Ice might be good for it. Uh, it's the wizard school. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Do we have time to go to the here. MV? I think the department of the magic one that you said was uh, Pimeric, <laughs> uh would yeah. be good one. I don't yeah. know, the, like, the, the Department of Magical Verification sometimes takes a long time. Yeah. They're so slow. <laughs> I think there might be an expert in the wizard school, but it is in the castle. I, can we go there? You did see there was an elevator. Try. Um, I mean, no, why not, right? At the, like, at the base of uh, Gate Road, which is this road here. Uh, in the... In the oh, in the castle. Um, we could make our I way mean, up there. I guess we could try the school. Maybe like if they if they can't help us, maybe they can point us towards the right direction. Usually, like research facilities or you know yeah, places know. of education yeah. like that. And they should automatically have a library, so it's not like we'll have to look in the library as well because there's well, this one there. I mean, yeah, let's. We could do that. I could just. I can go do that. That's a thing. <laughs> in the library, in the in the school. Um, to the library. Yeah. Uh, well, the if we, the castle, right? <laughs> yeah. We've the castle. Yeah. Okay. So you guys um, make leaving yeah. your room. Um, you can, can see we ask about, sorry. sorry, can we ask about the adventures going on the yeah. way down? Yeah. Yes. Uh, when you get your way down to the um, the reception, you see the same um, same man that was uh, that gave you the tray, and then he just smiles at you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning. Can I have breakfast to go? Is that the thing? Yes, of course. Um, anything specific you'd like, or we could just get you just a general adventurous um, breakfast if you'd like. Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. Oh, no, okay. I, I don't know uh, how to make this thing. It's like a it's like a flat piece of bread and you put stuff in it and then you like roll it up like a sleeping bag, but for your mouth. Pancake? But no, it um you put like eggs and bacon. A, a sandwich? A wrap? It's kind of like a sandwich, but it's like a like a tube. A wrap. That sounds like a wrap. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> we we could we, we could get you a breakfast wrap if you'd like. Um, 
I just want to be able to hold it for maximum efficiency. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, so that's just one one um, one portion of bacon and some and a breakfast wrap. Yeah, but can I have like a bunch of bacon in it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, but it's oh. like it's like crisp, like crispy bacon, like not flabby bacon. Like if you think you burned it, that's what I want. Okay. Okay, we can burn bacon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, anyone else? Any anything else? Like you guys for breakfast? Uh, can I have the same as her, please? Yeah, breakfast like it her. should shake the earth when I crunch into it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, he 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 laughs when you say that. Could I have um like a uh, pancakes to go? Like like a uh, rolled up maybe. Maybe we have pancakes here. Yeah. With some fruit. Fruit pancakes. Oh, that's very sticky. What kind of fruit do you want on there? You just want like a medley or banana uh, slices? Blueberries? Fruits? Fruit on uh, pancakes? Berries. 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 You put mm -hmm. pancake in one hand, fruit in the other hand. You don't put them together. But I like um, them together. <laughs> fruit and pancake <laughs> could be nice. How are you going to eat them as we're walking, little girl? So, and like, you know, as like, yeah. where you start speaking, try speaking. Uh, he turns. Yes? Uh, yeah. Um, if you have uh, yeast, I'd be down for that. I, I think, <laughs> I think the kitchen might have, should have some yeast. Yeah. Hey, sugar, I, maybe? I, water? Maybe. Yeast and sugar and water? Uh, no, oh, no sugar. No. Wait, let me... Let me check my pH. Oh, okay. And then, like, low fiber just turns, <laughs> like, thinking. Roll... Roll an intelligence check, I'd say. <laughs> you could do, um, if, if we, if you get bananas on the pancakes, you can put the banana peel in the water and smash it up and then use that for your plants. That's very good for plants. Lots of nitrogen. He just, he just, he just nods. Okay. He, like he doesn't. It's just going over his head. Uh, but uh, very with, safe. with that fifteen uh, intelligence, you you are well aware of what your pH is. Your your pH okay. um, measuring apparatus is working perfectly fine. All right. Um. So actually, um, I'll just have a glass of water with precisely three drops of lemon. If you do not have lemon. I will take. We have lemon. Five drops of orange in that glass of water. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I get the gold cup. Yes, of uh, course. We no, no, it. it'll be real quick. You can just give it to me, um, <laughs> like whenever it's ready. You can. You don't even have to give it to me. You can just like pour it on me if you're tall enough. Cause, but well, I can lean down. You can get him a step harder. This awkward, but I mean, so. Like, just make a decision, and um, we'll go with I that. I will offer you. <laughs> okay. I will offer you a lot of Okay, thank you, Primer. That's also... Two... Sorry, go on. No, you go on, sorry. That's two gold for the bacon, um, five gold for the breakfast wraps each, um, three gold for the mixed uh, berry pancake, and one gold for the yeast, um, zesty water, and all to go. Not just, not just zesty water, it's like water with either three drops of lemon, or, or sorry, sorry. Three drops of zesty, uh, zesty uh, fruit. No, not the zest. The juice. Yeah, zesty, zesty, like uh, zesty. Like I'm not, I'm not saying point zesty. Okay. I'm point zesty. You know, like okay. Just a little, 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 little scissor. Like, yeah. Like my pH needs to be balanced, and if you somehow mess this up, would would you like us to just have? Hear about it. Would you rather we bring just the like we bring a glass of water and the fruit itself, just so you can manage it for yourself? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if it's too hard to ask, then yeah, just do that. He just nods. Um, <laughs> Alright, if you want to pay, and I'll, I'll go let the kitchen know. Uh, if you guys want to deduct that from your character sheet, I'll put um, that in the Discord for you guys, so you guys know how much things cost. Um, cool. And then he goes and quickly alerts the kitchen, and then after a few moments he comes back. Um, that'll, that'll be about like, maybe uh, five, ten minutes, uh, so if you just want to take a seat. Uh, unless there's anything else I can help you with. Uh, 
one last thing before you go. Uh, could you point uh, just just for when when all the food is done? Uh, what's the general direction of the uh, uh, castle or the <laughs> school? Also, oh, the wizard school. Oh, okay. Have... Yeah, the wizard Sorry? school. Let's hear it. Uh, yes, yeah. just so, I mean, we 100% know where we are. So, alright, you're going to want to step out, and once you step out, you're going to want to go up, um, you want to follow the uh, the road, um, to the right. You'll find yourself onto, uh, Gate Road, and when you're on Gate, like, regardless of, if you, if you, as long as you take a road on the left, on the right, sorry, you'll find yourself on, um, Gate Road. And once you're on Gate Road, if you just follow that, um, to the top, you'll see there's a giant skyscraper that has a, um, it's made of glass. And you'll see people, a lot of people, business types, and um, some students will probably also be walking towards it. Maybe a few guild members. Um, you'll see that they'll be stepping on uh, the elevator platform, and they'll take you up to the castle. And there'll be someone waiting at the end of the bridge on that side. Uh, speaking of uh, guild members, um, mm -hmm. I heard uh, there was um... openings. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Is it Always here that we register? Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, so he, he goes under the desk and pulls out uh, four sheets uh, for all of you. Okay, so um, joining the guild, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You just need to fill out this form here. It's just uh, just to make sure like that you are um, you legally can be an adventurer and like everything. All the formalities are all cleared. Um, there is also a membership fee of fifty gold uh, to join or to to um, for the for essential for verification and such. And like once you're verified. You uh you come you'll be a part of the guild for um on a, on a temporary notice and then after like you've been um, a confirmed member like have been uh, done a, done done a few quests you'll be official members and you'll get your own badges and everything. Do we get and, a temporary badge? Yeah, you you'll be considered temporary members after your um after you've been verified. Uh, that that usually and takes can, a day. Can the payments be done in uh, many installments or does it have to be? 50 up front. It will be 50 on front. I didn't know I had the money for this. <laughs> yeah, I turned around, turned around, like, um, are you guys good? Like... Uh... Can I have the money? Uh, we, we have rest? some money, but I think for the long run, no. <laughs> I might pay for it. Homer? Does she just have the leaves? In her pockets. <laughs> <laughs> How many money do I have? Yeah. Um, um like like the shiny stuff, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not Shiseki uh -huh. stone, the, the gold one. Yeah, yeah. No, I got the bunch of that. Uh, can I can you show me? Yeah, I've got um sixteen of these weird little red ones. And the dirt. Uh, yeah, six, sixty, oh, sixty-three of these like shining gray ones, and fifty <laughs> of the yellow ones. Sixty of the yellow ones. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I turn back around to the um person. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. So is there like a um any kind of promotions going on where it's like. Oh my so God, one, get one free, something, <laughs> or... Nope. Mr. Lo-Fi Boy, uh, how much do you have? Uh, I, I can pay, um, I, I have, like, uh, oh, one, three, zero. That's the amount. Well, then it is fine. Is, can we, like, just... what if we were, like, a... Um gang of people like can we pay for all of us collectively together as one like group bonus yeah I mean, like, we all have if there's four separate. of you yeah, that's just 200 gold can... oh. oh i have that's the same amount yes no, like, you're, you're paying for memberships for each and every single one of you okay, what if we'd we have paid... to wait for the yeah yeah we have there's rocky like yeah. what if um... we paid 200 and had a fit form for our our friend yeah, that's fine. Yeah, like if, if you had someone that wanted to join later on, they can. They're more than welcome to to join the league after. But like, will our payment like be able to pay for him? Yeah, you can pay for him if you'd like to. It. Yeah, if you, if you'd like to, we. I mean, um, it would be. I I would recommend that you 
you uh you wait till he can conf or they can confirm that they're here to okay okay um, i'm okay, okay, just give us like i'll give you the money take the 50 um give us the form we'll complete it what's about hydro thank you i'll i'll give out no uh, water. 50 for for mine because mm -hmm. i i think i think the bonuses will be very helpful but we should also be very careful because we definitely need money to get around i mean where's jake's in there we can always um you know be adventurous no 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 uh, uh, yeah go on a quest to get money you have for any something mm -hmm. exactly um so yeah, he hands you uh, five forms. Uh, you see that the forms have like uh, ask for basic information, just name, and age, um, and this is just for like and this uh, verification of uh, documentation, like such as birth certificates, uh, passport, and such at reception. Uh, there's also mention of spell casting, like if you have spell casting licenses, which ones do you have? Uh, your experiences as adventurers, and are you okay with being contacted by beast or message? um and there will, there's also like um uh, when you turn it over there's mem uh, mention of the membership fees do not cover insurance a membership is only one time but they must do at least one guild proposed quest a month and they will be on ex uh, ex examination during their first or dr during your first three quests before you are considered official members and uh 20 of uh, all currency based rewards are given to the guild and this is already calculated what? out of your quest forms uh, uh could we go to the dmv because that's what that's like. Uh, and it doesn't even include insurance. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. How? Oh, what's this insurance plan? How does it work? Oh, your the fifty gold you're putting in is uh, for um, is to be considered official members of the guild, and you gain access to all our amazing facilities here at the Adventures Route, and you also get access to all those discounts provided on your map. Yeah, but that was um, what's the insurance? Oh, the insurance is just if like you break a weapon, for example, on an adventure or you lose certain items, or you may have uh, been damaged and you're out of work uh, or out of a quest for a few months, uh, that would cover that. But that's only after you're considered official members. Well, base work to do, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, this is so formal. It reminds me of my <laughs> research. <Dang>. Okay. <coughs> oh. Oh. You know what? Can I just... Is the Adventurous <sighs> Guild only in Isotope? Nope, we have adventurers guilds in every city, uh, major city in Shireleo, and we also have many adventurers routes uh, located across the globe. Especially with Ramsluck being our uh, initial um, home base, if you were uh, needed to go to the uh, home office. Are there are there any like gald people that look to be like clear adventurers in the lobby with us? None, none. You could, you do see there, like when he went to the kitchen, you saw that it, like there was a whole canteen full of like people in like armor and like robes and stuff that looked like they were clearly adventurous when he, um, when you peeked through the door when he went to go get, um, to let the kitchen know. And every now and then you can hear jazz music coming from that door. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what was that, Pamir? Do we get any cool stuff? Like, like a, a cape or like a fancy hat? You get one of these badges. He shows you the uh, the dragon badge, and you also get access, as mentioned, you get all those discounts uh, mentioned on your map. You get access to our personal uh, blacksmith and um, supplies that we offer here at the Roots, and um, okay. essentially steady work. As we know, adventuring is very difficult. Mm -hmm. How about the library? Can I go to that? Is that do I get the cool things for there? I mean, that's just. Oh, a, what? We we don't we don't have any libraries on uh on our premises. Uh, that sucks for uh, you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess we should head out. Um, is the food ready? He just um, he says he just looks at his watch. Uh, not just yet. Uh, you'll hear a ding when the food is ready, and then as he stops speaking, you hear the ding, and oh, <laughs> that, that, that should be the food. Give me a minute, please. And then he rushes off, and you see again through the doors like tables full of adventurers all just like discussing and you can hear like them chatting about being adventurers and stuff and you can hear and you can see a jazz band just playing in the corner <laughs> as the door swings shut before you get to see uh more uh, but then he can comes you rushing come in back. there when we get back are, are you asking 
So who are you asking? I'm just asking now? people in general. Play. Um. Oh, yeah, sorry. All right, then you guys. Oh, Where should we? Huh? I want to go in there when we get back. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Um, I mean, we should be allowed, right? Because a member, right? <laughs> he comes back just as you mentioned that. Yeah, once you're members, you will be allowed to enter into the members only area. And you also get access to our uh, members only rooms as well. As you notice, oh. you're staying in the guest guest only room. Oh. Uh, do, are we able to go in there now? Or. Nope. Sorry, members no. only. Oh, so we're not members. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> While you're on temporary um, examination, uh, after filling in your forms and you've been verified, you'll be allowed to enter there as well, but like, you won't be considered full members just yet. But that's only after all uh, the formalities have been uh, sorted out. Huh, Anything else okay. I can help you with? Okay. Uh, and he hands you all your food uh, in takeaway uh, containers. Do we have to fill the form in now or can we return it later? You can hand it in whenever there's someone at the desk. Okay. okay. How does he give me the water? <laughs> he just hands you a little, little takeaway cup. Okay, like, I don't try to take it. <laughs> he, just, he, just, he just looks at you and he looks down at the cup, and then there's also like a lemon and an orange next to it. Do you need one of us to help you? <laughs> you only want three well, drops of lemon, right? Or do, yeah. you want, do you want the orange or the lemon? The lemon is better. Okay, a lemon. Did you want a couple of drops, or...? I'm just gonna yeah, stab three. it with my little finger and just get three little lemon drops in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roll a uh, slight hand. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I don't want to cut the whole lemon, I just want to poke it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can help. <laughs> try. You want to help her try to squeeze the hand. lemon? Yeah, I can try help. I can just punch the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't punch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, kind of yeah, like, could, <laughs> what's uh, what's your uh, slight hand modifier, uh, Lacera? No, zero. So uh, yeah, you just so Lacera's <laughs> holding the lemon, but you're holding it for moral support, primarily. <laughs> and Loni, uh, Lofi boy, you're watching very, ev uh, very <laughs> analytically, watching as three drops pop into the um, into the cup, and as soon as the three drops, uh, yeah, like primarily <laughs> immediately stops. And the Sarah also just like stops holding the lemon. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't that mean I drop the lemon in? <laughs> I, no, no, I wouldn't. I'll, I'll say, yeah, like you move the cup just in time. So, all right. <laughs> well, you do drop the lemon on the floor and it rolls out. On my right side, where Can the you plants open are. Them now? Huh? No, no, yeah, just um, my face. Should or I lift up Chimera for this? No, I know. I just, I want to. I'm. Trying to see if there's a better way to administer to your whole body. Can you open your mouth real fast? Um, no. Okay. I, I wasn't assigned the function of mouth opening. Pimer, <laughs> uh, do, do you want me to lift you? I just want to you see can? if there's like roots and stuff in the inside and like more leaves if you open your mouth. I've never tried before, but I can try. What if well, we pour it on the to flowers? Have you open so I can. Look. Uh, okay, um... I guess Lo-Fi Boy opens his mouth for the very first time in his life, right there and then. Just do that, just ah. Uh... Okay. Is there... Is there leaves in there? <laughs> <laughs> that was metal no, scraping just... as, as his mouth tries to open. And you, as soon as he opens that uh, primer, you notice there's just a sheet of metal behind it. Oh, well, that's not useful. Okay, he, no. Does he speak without opening his mouth? He does, he speaks without opening his mouth. It just like echoes off him. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I think we broke him. him. <laughs> I mean, you can just put it in my eye, like an eye drop. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's fine. We could do that or, too. Okay, yeah, okay. he'll throw um, back. I don't want to spill it. Yeah. Primary, we, we okay. could just give Tilting. it to the flowers, right? Like directly Ooh. to the flowers. No, it has to go on to the leaves. <laughs> technically, you should put it on like the roots and stuff. But it, 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 he wants it in the eyeball. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna question your money shot. Okay, here we oh. go. Ready? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, tilt your head back. Tilting. And then Tilting. I'm just gonna slowly pour Angle it into acquired. his eyeball. 
Roll intelligence. Can I just be writing out my form while this is happening yeah. and like eating the pancakes? <laughs> you can, yeah. The pancakes are delicious, by the way. Ah, oh, thanks. And the Sarah, your bacon is also delicious. It's just like a like it's just a tub full of bacon. Oh, that's great. That's what I wanted. Shiki just... I just I just drop a bit a bit for, for mm. Shiki. <laughs> Shiki nibbles on it and she just like she holds it in her mouth as she's just jingling about happily. <laughs> That's a very cute dog you have there. Um the receptionist says. Yes, she's very cute. She smiles at the uh, the reception and jingles happily again. <laughs> That's so adorable. An error occurred. pH calibrating. Um, oh, your pH. It's perfect. You, 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 your analysis of the water is perfect. So if there was an error, you, you know. pH restabilized. Thank you, Primera. You're welcome. Uh, what about your neck? What? Oh. <laughs> you hear scraping as his neck forms back into place. I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah. Do you need oiling, if I boil? Do you need oiling? If I need what? Oiling. Oiling? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. If he squeaks anymore, maybe. <laughs> it's just the mouth area. That, that, it's, it was weird. It kind of felt like teeth, but I don't have it. But, you know? No, but we do <laughs> The recep the receptionist watches you guys and like he's like he like looks like he's really awkward. Like Lee like just like wanting to leave. And so he's like, I um Yeah. And Can I hand like, him my form? He looks it over. Okay. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him the glass back. Uh thank you. Sorry. Also finish her I'm gonna keep this like... lemon. Oh, okay, I've done. Oh yeah, keep lemon. You paid for it. And he just crunch crunches up the glass because it was a paper glass, and he just oh, a paper cup, and he just puts it in the bin. Um, the uh, do you have your uh, like a form, um, such as a passport, birth certificate, or anything that like I can use to verify um, that you are who you are, uh, Lonico, and a form from your guardian as well. Uh, uh yes, I have one. Just fumbling for papers. <laughs> <laughs> Here! <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, 50 Sorry, gold. And he, he takes your, uh, he accepts the gold that you hand him uh, for your um, your form. And, okay, well, uh, we'll let you know by the end of today uh, if you've been accepted. Um, and, yeah. Uh, All right, we'll I'll let you know. Well, there'll be a form on your, in your, uh, your room. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll stop here then. Um, um, yes. There are, um, what? Do you consider an acceptable form of, I almost said birth, <laughs> of birth, birth um, certificate? Yeah, but 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 certificate. Yeah, like uh, some just some form of uh, some form that just says you are who you are. Um, oh, it doesn't need to be that. a bunch. It could just be just, like one, as long as like I, you look like who you are. It should be fine. Like one thing that says my name and my birthday on it. Basically, if it, and is, is that oh, follow alongside of that? That's also very helpful. <laughs> She's gonna pull out the leaf and. Oh, oh, oh! You're you're a druid. <laughs> oh. oh no no yeah, this is fine. No, this is this is normal. Just give me a second. Give me a second, please. Um, could you? I mean, at least this guy understands it, right? Okay. Uh, give me a second. We're just gonna have to. Uh, when you get a chance, you will need to go to the DMV and get a um, a uh, a photo identif form of photo identification of yourself. Uh, and if you bring those little uh. uh images with you uh, they look like um pictures like they're paintings of you but they're very very they're very good they look very like like you it's like it's like you're looking in the mirror on like a little piece of paper but it doesn't copy oh, so you it's okay like a little baby me but yeah basically yeah, exactly that uh when you go to the uh the, the department of magical verification the dmv uh, and you get some photos for yourself and if anyone else needs identification it's also recommended you get some just in case um uh, we'll make we'll we'll, form, we'll fill out the druid uh, application form for you because this is this is procedure. 
I can write and read. I am yeah, smart no, librarian. No, that's not sound like we're, it's just so that like because like druids find it, like we we've we've uh, we've had this happen many times where druids often struggle to pull uh, forms of documentation to identify themselves and. Uh, we understand that this could be an issue with you entering certain cities. Uh, we can only imagine you struggled getting into the city uh, when you guys came here first. They were very rude. They even took my little adopted child. How rude. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he looks confused when you say that. Yeah, no, uh, it's it's expected. Gods, gods don't have the patience for druids, and druids, they, they don't understand how a lot of this works. So hopefully we'll be able to explain how that works, and you'll... Uh, You'll be able to find admission into cities and places where you need documentation a lot easier from now on. After you get verified, of course. You know what? I put my hand on the person's shoulder. Please don't touch me. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to um, thank you. I'm sorry for the physical contact. No, no, it's um, not. Okay, yes. Like, no. My impression of you was that you were very kind of like the guards, but you know, you're. We we understand the adventurous struggles. Uh, yeah, trying to gain uh, getting around. At best, I mean at most. I mean I'm not. I mean <laughs> like um, uh, thank you is what I mean. Yeah, I, I thank do. Thank you uh, for the uh, adventure guild. Yes. Um, oh, and I give my form by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you um, have any form of documentation as well, sir? Oh, there's my um, Mr. Boy uh, number. Oh, 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 yes. Give me a second. Uh, we, we, uh, uh, please uh, show your barcode to us. Yep. Just ask people for their barcode. Like <laughs> no, 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 this is, this is, this is formalities. It's, it's, it's like the pit. It's yeah. like, it's like your leaf. I mean, at least take yeah, him into a different room or something first. I mean, if you'd, would you prefer to be uh, in a private room, Mr. Boy? I mean, the location of my barcode, it doesn't require a private room. I think, oh. uh, um, yeah. S some other models, though. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't know because I'm not them, but I could imagine, probably. Yeah, you know, that's just like personal, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's, it's up for you, you know. You can't just be showing yeah. your barcode to anybody who asks to see it. Uh, I mean, I, I <laughs> guess, but. I mean, trap and door. it's your it's your barcode. I just you know wanted to make I mean, sure that works. There is the trap door that hides it, so you know. Um, um could we could we covered. just could we just quickly do this, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, uh, and he just pulls out a little over. gun, like a little uh, barcode scanner <laughs> gun, and then just scans it. <laughs> yep. Boop. Beep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, we'll let you know at your uh, sure. in your room too. Wait, how come he doesn't have to have pictures? His barcode has okay. it all. So it's all the verification is on yeah. on that barcode. All the information Basically. is needed. And I have one of those. Um, it would be <laughs> very painful. I have a barcode leaf. They'd have to they'd have to tattoo it into you, and even oh, then, well, yeah, I don't think uh, like with ink, like they could write leaf. on me with ink, like I'm a book. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck it, guys. Let's do it. But, um, I'm ready. We should get matching you, ones. No, oh, matching I, I don't think a matching barcode would uh, be a great idea. <laughs> no, no. We could have like a, a group, um, a group adventure skill. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. Oh, we could have a that, group identification, and that, then that is a thing. You will, uh, you will need to find a name for your group, um, as well. What? Like I mean, excuse me. You'll need a name for your group as well when, uh, when you all are verified members. Right. I, the, oh, okay. We're a rock band. <laughs> so, well, I'm not sure Rocky would be down. Would roll well, Rocky's with not that, sure right know? now. But, um, I, I, I guess for today, the, uh, the, we'll be, we've all eaten now, uh, all given our forms, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a bit late. Okay. Yeah. So let's head on to uh, the castle. Uh, thank you. Uh, what was your name? Uh, my name? My name is <clears throat> Timmy. Oh, thank thanks, you, Timmy. Timmy. No worries. Oh, thanks. He knows uh, his accent off. isn't is very like isn't Shrey Leon. It's um yeah, it's it's not like it's not no, uh, native. Um Where are you from, Timmy? 
Oh, I'm from Halagis. Well, I'm um, well. Yeah, I know. I was from Halagis in like really? I. No, no, Halagis. It's uh, it's an island. Oh, it's yeah, isn't it where Rock is from? Where no, Rocky? he's from Ransluck. Oh. Oh, I speak Halagis. Oh, do you? Mhm. Mm and he starts speaking uh, in Halagis to you, and just like, oh, oh, you speak Halagis too, like like this. I do, yes. Oh, that's that's wonderful. It's been it's been a while since uh, someone from Halakis has stopped by. Well, I, I'm not from Halakis, but, oh. but I learned it. I learned it at the, the temple where I grew up. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know. Uh, I don't. I didn't know they like taught like taught you other languages. I'm very good at picking things up. I like to be able to talk to lots of different people. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that's wonderful. That's yeah. We 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 have to learn uh, multiple languages here too, but. Uh, it's nice, nice being able to speak, uh, speak the mother tongue, if you will. Uh, no, Lacera does not know Halakis. God. <laughs> <laughs> to I actually, boy, I think. Um... He doesn't have the translator. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, the AOL uh, internet connecting noise. I think it's in yeah, Low Nico's <laughs> family from Halakis. I thought like that was like. It was a I was can't, can't remember. Not to worry. Um, I think her parents were from different places and they traveled yeah. around a lot. Not to worry. Okay. I don't. Um. But yeah. Oh. Uh, you guys are are ready to set up, and Shiki looks very excited to go with you, and she just follows you around as you uh you guys make your way around the sea. Um. Let's go, Shiki. <laughs> okay, should we find um? Time uh, are you so he can hang out with us, or is it just you are hanging out with us today? He just comes. Uh, sh sorry, she just comes up to you and then just curled around you. Is he and okay? Then, and then, then she sits, and then uh, she jingles as she nods. Oh, okay. And then oh, she then cool. she goes to, like look like she's playing dead. Uh, <laughs> um, um, and then comes back. Is up. you? Oh, is he is sleeping? He oh, he's, he's sleeping. Got it. Sleeping. Nods. Is he in his, in his phone? Shake's head. <laughs> I don't think he can go to the sh the, the the box because that's in a you, dangerous zone. You do see there are like phone booths around, but like they're not like bo like boxes. They're more so like just like on like lampposts uh, around the city. Um, Is he in a different box? Shake's head. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, she shakes head. Sorry, yeah, she shakes her head. <laughs> we'll find him later. Jingling as she does. <laughs> well, she's cute, and I'm sure. He'll be okay if she's if he's not, then I'm sure she'll let us know. Not head. Okay, good cheeky. Uh, let's no. go. <laughs> Smart girl. <laughs> uh, to the library. To the library. I'm all the way in the river, uh, in the ocean. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was just so you guys knew that like, that's where like that line went, just in case. So, <laughs> heading to the library. Beep beep beep. beep. Sorry. So yeah, uh, when you guys make your way through the city, it's like you know, it's, it's basically like a concrete jungle, but like it's a bunch of like, neon signs and like just people walking around in like it's very strange streetwear. It's not like none of this looks like traditional Australian. Well, there's a few like people in traditional Australian wear, but others look like they like not even like they look very foreign, almost like what um the um those uh, merchants that were kidnapped by um barnabas's crew were dressed like uh, they all and some of them look very fashionable in like dresses and suits some of them look like they were in just graphic tees some of them you know is are uh, rolling around on bicycles skateboards and stuff some of them have like the wheels spell casted and you can see like they're like oh. clearly not magic like they're clearly not actual wheels but magical wheels as they're skating around like in various groups just doing their own thing and like as you guys are exploring the city you guys see um you can just see there's like street performers going off um, let me just pull, uh, pull up. You can see mag uh, magical street performers just on every other corner. You'll just see them throwing spells of like various uh, elements at each other and like just creating grand spectacles as like they're uh, just performing around crowds. And you can see that they um, some are casting the wheel spell on willing participants. And uh, one group you're watching, you see, um, you can see that they are suddenly stopped by guards uh, just off in the distance. But like not in the like it's just like. Just uh, down the block, essentially, from you guys at the moment, and you can see that as they're uh, just like a few, uh, just like a few uh, uh, buildings away, uh, just okay. on the other side of the road. Yeah. Okay. 
and you see that they've been like you no, no this is just like on just the corner of the road they like because okay. these are street performers just around the city oh, um, I see. Uh, these uh, street ma magicians are stopped by some guards uh, in their uh, black splint and uh, red banners um, flowing in the air. You can notice that they all fired Janasi guards. And you can see that they're, they're question being questioned by the guards and they look very flustered. And then you see one just point mm -hmm. and try and like, create a flash to distract the guards. And then all of a sudden they start just bolting uh, towards you guys. Uh -huh. And um, as soon as, like, as like you just like, as like, um, you like your brain fogs for a second as you just see these people dart towards you. And you all, could you all roll a deck save for me? I'll I'm gonna get one bang in the head, aren't I? <laughs> uh, a deck save. Like honestly, like Lo-Fi Boy has his umbrella, so oh. I'm just saying, if he's gonna come at me, <laughs> he's gonna get umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have jinxed myself. <laughs> 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 okay, never mind. I think you might have immovable objects. So, Lo-fi boy, you uh, you get your umbrella ready, and Lacera, like you, just like panic, trying like shuffle low around as the, these people are coming. Um, as these street magicians charge towards you, Lo, have like because you're being shuffled around by Lacera, you're perfectly out of the way, and Primary, you just sidestep as well. Um, but like as like Lo, Can Nico, I I mean, guard? pardon? Can I trip a guard? You can trip up a guard. Um, <laughs> like, oops, oh no. That sucks. You can, you can <laughs> but like they're, like they're still being dazed at the moment. So these street performers just rush past and like they just, you you step, you're, um, they're out of your sight. And like they just, they don't look like they're like being, um, they're like sketchy or anything, but they're just like getting rushed past. And uh, you can hit, I, can I look at them? Yeah, they, they just look, um, they're just dressed in like, um, almost like circus garb. Um, they look very extravagantly dressed, um, and they just both of them are elves, uh, but they don't look like they're um, foreign. So like they look like they're native to Australia, but they just dress strangely. Um, okay. As like they rush past you, yeah, uh, they barge into Low Fight Boy and Lucera, and uh, well. you two get knocked down. And as like as you two are on the ground, you can hear the guards um, shouting and screaming, telling. Um, uh, telling the uh, the performers to stop and slow down. They need licenses to perform uh, out in the streets. And then as they come, uh, just about come into view of uh, you guys, Primary, you just turn and your tail just gets wrapped around one of the Fire Genasi guard's legs and trip him up. And then he causes the other one to stumble like a domino effect. As you see <laughs> behind them, another guard on a chicken-like beast. <laughs> <laughs> just like basically <laughs> jump over all of you and then charge after the uh the street performers and the guards can I guess... <laughs> Sorry, can I... wasn't that like what no. um what susan was on no susan was on, uh, was on a horse oh um but you know it's like the streets like the people that like do have like uh, animals on the street aren't then none of them like are horses they're all very like exotic some of them are lizards some are big chickens you know some give off the same energy yokai give off uh, but more oh. so uh, regarding Gokeru, not um, not like the 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 wild ones. Mm -hmm. but, um, the corrupted ones. Yeah, the corrupted ones. Yeah. Um, when you get when you trip off the guards, the guards like quickly get up and then just like tut at you, Primera, and then just like just give you a look glare as he just pelt off. Again. Oh, I didn't mean to. They just <laughs> I'm large. They're not used to it. What were you uh, gonna say? Sorry, uh, uh, Lonika. No, I changed my mind. No um, <laughs> Yeah, um, no one, like, all the people that, like, were, like, watching the street form, they all look kind of shocked as, like, that happened. But you guys end up uh, making your way to the library. Which? Oh, wait. I... oh Sorry, we're go. going to the castle school. You guys want to do like... running, I want to see if people were throwing coins at them and if they forgot to pick up coins. <laughs> Roll... They shoved me down. Yeah, roll put with disadvantage perception, please. Alright. Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. Perception. Activate. Oh, seven. <laughs> you see that there are a few oh. coins on the ground. Um, oh, we could, we could definitely do with some, actually. I'll hop look. <laughs> yeah. 
you find seven gold coins that were just like where they were that no one else is like no one has stopped to pick up <sighs> well Lucero, you are just dazed and like just like <laughs> in shock of everything that's just happened <laughs> yeah um and as you guys like make your way to the castle you so you guys will go into the castle yeah. Right. Give me a second. Like I'll describe the elevator as you guys get there. Ooh, so, um, elevator. so you guys reach um, Isotope Tower, which is this giant glass tower that stops at this wall that, like, you guys can't see above the wall. But like, when you guys were outside of the city, you could see that this same glass tower like led to what looked like a castle at the top of the uh, the tower. Um, I bet it gets it, so hot in there. <laughs> Do we have to go up an elevator around here? Yeah, you um, you see that like there's a platform uh inside like the glass tower like isn't like any building. It's just like a, just literally like just a tube that goes upwards, and you see there's a platform that like have people standing on them, uh, and some people like look like they're dressed like in guard uh, wear. Some people are dressed in um, in formal wear. Some people look like they're just in like pajamas and like just casual wear, <laughs> that are just like just sitting and waiting on this uh platform. And you can see also a band performing as well on the on the elevator as well. Um, and like as you like listen to the music that's been played, like you can you hear all the music around you in the sea is ranging from solo instruments to full bands of like like full groups, and it's all varying genres. But like the noise doesn't like compete with each other, and it almost like forms like this one soundscape that is that just sits in your ears pleasantly, and like. Ah. As you guys step onto the uh, Isotope Tower elevator, you uh, see the group that um, that are playing on the platform. They notice you, Lo Nico, uh, with your shamisen on your back, and then like you see one just like um, wave at you, and then uh, mime playing, and then uh, beckons to join them. Hell yeah! Of course I'm going to. <laughs> Dude, excited little wave back, and then I'm gonna play. They look very happy. In. Play um, and try and match whatever it is there. You can there. roll a uh, roll performance for me. <laughs> as the um, <laughs> as the band that are uh, playing, like they all look to they look a uh, ragtag group of uh, races and like all look to be in casual wear. Uh, they they're playing they're specifically playing like jazz, but when you come in and start playing more, uh, I'd say traditional, um, Shrelleon music, it meshes very well and like they switch on a dime to what you're playing and then they start just basically jamming with you as you guys are going up this elevator oh and you could can I... jam in, in the elevator <laughs> <laughs> it's elevator music if you will can i join in with uh uh with uh, lacero um just i don't know dancing along to it you can I don't know how she... roll roll performance <laughs> if you want to start dancing along as well um uh, also dance you want to start dancing as well far so you roll performance for me as well um <laughs> Since, since everyone's doing something, I want to try to clap to the beat. <laughs> Roll performance as well for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's an off clap. <laughs> nice. No, okay. Thing. Let's see what we got. I oh, got wow. Yeah, Lucero, you're going. You're just. You start dancing like water, <laughs> flowing with the music, and just. Almost being like acting like the metronome to the musicians, and like they're playing in time with you, while yeah. uh, Lofi Boy is like just struggling, like just keeping in beat as he's clapping along. But like because of course, uh, Lacero, your dancing has thrown uh, the musicians into a, an irregular time uh, <laughs> time signature. Um, Lofi Boy is getting confused every now and then, but he still is he's able to analyze it and keep in time. And Primera, you're just you're you're doing your best, and you're. It's it's weird because like it's not what city folk would um, would like, expect of dancing. You, <laughs> you want to describe seen, it? Have you ever seen Bob's Burgers? I have. You know I haven't, but I, I know, I know, I know, I know what you, where you're going with it. I haven't, but I know where you're going with it. Like the kid who like Tina is super in love. Yeah. With, and he just like. It's like a really bad rendition of Footloose, just constantly. <laughs> uh... Beautiful. Is this, how big is this elevator? <laughs> it's huge. Like it's like, uh. like 
yeah, you you see like, like there's a bunch of people like kind of like fit on this elevator and like like at least like maybe like 150 people like if they were cramped but like uh, quite a few people like are on the elevator and like they're all watching you perform and they're enjoying as like this uh, the elevator hums satisfyingly as it's rising up and down and Pimera and Sarah are dancing and Love Bobby is clapping along you guys can <laughs> see out to the eastern uh, view of uh, of Haida Eo of uh, and Shreleo and you can see um the the mountains and the the great forest that is uh, surrounding the the largest mountain on Shreleo and you can just start to see uh the silhouette of uh, nagahara city um which is uh, the capital of haida eo and you can just see like just the skyscrapers of that city just on the side of the mountain and um as soon as like you get to the top you uh see that like a bunch of um people have like sworn around you guys and give uh basically placed uh basically what amount to 55 sorry uh 75 gold at your feet uh um, like or not all together like not I mean collectively sorry like 75 gold yeah. is like being given to you guys as like uh, for performing and even the street performers like um uh nod in approval at like low nico uh, getting all of this gold yeah oh my gosh that's really good love well done oh, I, I some of the gold was around you lacera and Pimera as well I... <laughs> so it wasn't just <laughs> I think, Lo, uh, well, Lo should have it, but I'll, I'll just, like, head on. <laughs> mm. I'll, just, I'll, I'll just take this one out, you guys can have the rest of it. Or... I, I don't, I clap, guys. Like, I, I <laughs> tried to not be awkward. Um, but you, you, you guys did it. You, yeah, well, that was, like, amazing. I've never seen you dance like this before. Yeah, you look hot as shit. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Primer. You're welcome. <laughs> it was yeah. fun. As you reach the top, you see that you've like uh, found yourself on a roofed bridge um, that has like stained glass windows all around the side of it that have uh, that show swimming koi fish that like move in the glass, um, <laughs> and like every now and then they form one big koi fish, but then they eventually break off again and they keep going and just swimming and they almost like follow you guys. It's uh. like. Does that make sense? These like how like the imagery following. of that? Why are these fish following? <laughs> no, no, it's like it's the glass in the walls. They're just basically following you guys as like you are walking down the bridge, and like you you keep walking for a while. This bridge is very long, but like you can see uh, out of the out of the uh, the windows uh, where the fish aren't swimming, you can see um, ice, the Isotop City or like Isotop Upper, which is like a bunch of skyscrapers. But you can just about see in the like just out of view is. Um, what's within the uh the inner wall of isotope which looks like an even smaller city from inside that's like very low down and you can see that it looks very smoggy but you can just about see buildings peering out of that smog from below also hydrate thank you hannah how much gold was it sorry uh, it was 75. um so like as they're walking down the hallway mm -hmm. Pimera's like very straight backed and like purposely not looking at the glass and her eyeballs are like super dilated <laughs> she's just like walking and not like not looking at the tank it's like I'm looking at it. I'm not, there's nothing in there for you it's not for you the mm -hmm. decoration that's not you can't have that it's fine we're fine we're gonna go <laughs> they're gonna give us cool things but don't to and like as like you're muttering that you eventually reach the end of the bridge and um like your feet are not, like hurting now like you've been walking for a while like it feels like you've been on your feet for at least like two hours including from like from here to from the adventurous route it's like being wow, okay. from like dancing performing walking that bridge and walking down the road it's like you've been on your feet for a while it feels like actually not two hours sorry one hour sorry my mistake two hours is uh, two hours is harsh um but like as soon as you like step off the bridge you are like on like a garden like on a balcony garden that's like um hanging over the city essentially and you can uh, but like what catches your eye immediately is the castle uh, the castle itself looks extremely alien to australia on architecture and it looks like the city like it's like a bunch of like it's like the towers like skyscrapers and the walls are decorated with like art deco patterns similar to the walls on the outside of the city and like you can just see walking uh amongst the uh the tower are guards uh but you know so they don't have any banners on them they just have black splint uh, some of them look like fire genasi. Some of them, you notice, have crystals um, 
on the head and the earth chassis. Uh, but as soon as like you um, get a glimpse of the, uh, the castle, you get a guard that like asks um, uh, a fire chassis guard asks your business. Oh, at the end of the bridge. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're hoping to the uh, wizard guild or oh. uh, the wizards. Um, mm -hmm. Wizard school. Okay. Um, so basically, you're gonna wanna you wanna follow uh, the right wall. Keep going right. You'll see um, you'll see a left. Ignore that left. Keep going. Go left again. Uh, when you see the second left, follow that left. You'll find uh. yourself in a little uh, overhanging balcony. Uh, just keep following that. Um, you're gonna go left again, and then when you hit the when you hit the wall, when you go left, just go straight. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then you'll find yourself at the uh, the garden. Uh, that is the uh, the entrance to the wizard school. Oh. That, makes, that makes sense. Did you get that? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it is that, very that procedural. We go across the little bridge, then turn left, then over the hanging gardens, then turn left. Once we reach the wall, then straight ahead to the garden. Mm -hmm. Huh. And there okay. should be a guard there waiting for you. And like, if like, uh, if like you, if like you have any more questions, they'll be willing to help. And then you see him <laughs> after he's like guided you guys off to uh, left. You guys, he, the same guard goes to someone else, and asks them for help. But yeah, you guys. We oh. cross over the thing, turn left. The, turn left, and then we reach oh. the other guard. No, the, the, uh, the over... Hanging, hanging guard. Hanging guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, then we hit the wall. Boop. Turn Oops. left. Like, lo fi boy actually walks in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go okay, left there. The and... Hopefully now it's the garden. I think the garden. The M. Mm. Perfect. Uh, when you guys reach the garden, you can see like it's very pretty. It's um, it's like got a bunch of trees, a bunch of like flowers just growing like little, uh, off like off the patio, um, and like little like little um sections. And it's quite big. Uh, it's like there's like you can see like there's a bunch of, like wizards or like you know, what you'd assume would be wizards loitering around. Um, what type of trees? Oh, just general trees like you can see there's a few autumn blossoms uh growing and like they're growing a um they've got pink and white and orange petals um and you can see a few apples growing in those um but like, the trees the general trees around like uh, the ones that aren't autumn blossoms are just general um like oak and birch when um bu -bu 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 the wizards yeah like you see that they're like, of varying races and in casual and sleepwear and also, like, there's a bunch of varying races. You can see most of them are fire Janasi. And uh, you see there's an elf guard waiting at the entrance in Black Splint. And he also asks you the same situ uh, same question. Um, how can I help you? Hi, we're... Students? Uh, we're not... What? Are, you, are you students? No. No. Oh, no reason. How can no, I help No, but I'm a librarian. No. <laughs> uh, we were hoping... He just turns away from you, Pymera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, we were hoping we could uh, speak to some of the experienced member of the the wizard school. Oh, here. Yeah, we, I could. We can. I can find some staff. Really, a researcher or a professor. Yeah. Is, any. Yeah. Are you? Anyone you... would be knowledgeable in the world weave research. World weave. Hmm. World weave. Um. I can. I mean, like I myself, I wouldn't know, but I can, I can, I can see if someone can assist. Um, it's quite important, so if you could, that would be amazing. Okay, just give me a minute, please. And you see him just rush off. Well, not rush off. He like walks um, with like a bit of a uh, with haste in his steps as he uh, enters in through the doors, and you can just see uh, the inside. What could be the inside of the the school? And like it's like just dark stone uh, walls yeah. and like um, a wood floor, and then. A few minutes pass, and you can see that like the the wizards are loitering. Some of them look to be tending the garden and like casting uh, water magic to uh, just keep keep the uh, the plants fresh. Um, he he didn't seem seemed like he uh, didn't know about the world weave. I don't know. Was that was he walking fast or was that was just me? It was just like he was like just in a rushed walk. Yeah, I mean that a bit of a speedy. You know who could help us find information about the world weave if they had information on it in 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 the library? The librarian? 
a librarian. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is actually a good idea. Um, do you think we should head in or, or wait for him? I mean, we, we can, he's been gone like 30 seconds. We can wait a little bit. I, I don't right. know. A few minutes Primera do pass like... after a while. Um, <laughs> if nothing comes up, Chimera, we'll, we'll go with your plan. Yeah. You yeah. see, um, a, a... I was saying it's a whole school, you would think they would have, you know, more appreciation for people who know things. Yeah, that was... Rude? rude it was rude. for no reason. He is a god, to be fair. Mm. He's a uh, teacher or a student. Oh, I, I, I forgot that. What if I worked here? After, yeah. after we, a moment, we need you here. <laughs> after like, you start just questioning that, you see a um, a elf walk out um, who looks to be in a suit. Uh, who doesn't look to be in a suit? He is in the suit of uh, that's all grey, and you can see that there's a four pointed star pin in his lapel, and you can see that underneath it there's a circle that looks like the symbol of Hyde Eo, which is a red circle with a a pattern that kind of looks like just uh, fire. Um, and if like I'll put you guys on the map and you guys can like see that symbol if you haven't already. Oh, that like, like a fire frying pan? No, no, like it's it. I don't know. It kind of looks like a man, but like wavy, like this symbol. Oh, okay. Like, like that's what uh, like is on uh, underneath the four point star uh, pin on the lapel. Um, and like he just uh, he just stands uh, in front of you and gives you all the power. Hi, how can I help? Um. What's, what seems to be the issue as the guard uh, leaves and goes back to his position? Uh, do you want to go, Lofi? Uh, uh, well, what are your professional uh, of? Oh, I'm um, I'm an assistant to the uh, the head uh, abjuration wizard. To the head abjuration. Of what? Abjuration. Abjuration. It's a form of uh, oh. magic that has been taught at the school. Um. We're well, seeking yeah, no, knowledge. You can go, with Sarah. Yeah. Uh, okay. A uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, anyway, um, so do you know anything about what happens when, like, the whole world splits open? Um... Like, in the air and stuff? There's a... There's a... He looks very confused. I... Okay, I have, like, an out of um... Uh, it's a world weave, if you've heard of it? Yeah, no, we, we are... The world weave, yeah. Um, is... Are you have is some... Some uh, no is there any questions about it? Like, are you is something about it confusing you? Um, mm, okay. yeah. we're can it breaks. Maybe Excuse we me? should go somewhere. Uh, uh, can we? Yeah, a little let's go. More private. Yeah, more private. Oh, um, um, okay. Is um, that okay. Yeah, uh, and he uh, he guides you into a little like a corner of the uh, the garden where like no other no, no students seem to be loitering. Um, here is here fine. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, don't you have like an office? Well, yeah. I don't have an office myself. I just, oh. my my. I, I yeah, no, I I'm just an assistant. Mm. Like every office. Um, the head office. Hypothetically, if someone were to have, I don't know, accidentally fucked up some shit and maybe had like most of a city got swallowed by one of those oh. things, um, who would we need to talk to about that? Um, uh, uh maybe, uh, maybe. Maybe uh, Professor uh, Yuri Akats Akatsuki. Yes. Uh, okay. I give me a minute. Come with me, please. Um, I. I think... it's, it's just hypothetical, right? <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's that, that's that, that, that sounds. I. Like if something uh, like that should happen. Your your tone really seems very uh, suspicious. It's, it's it's very okay. suspicious. So I think uh, I think it's best we go to someone who uh, might know uh, how to help and yeah. might have a better Why understanding. Don't you bring us to his office. You know, that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're heading there. And he uh, oh, op okay. he opens the door and lets you in. But he looks to be very agitated when he says that. Cause, like, he... When, as soon as, like, you mentioned, like... <laughs> you mentioned, like, you're, you sound very suspicious. He's There's a bit of a skip in his step, almost. <coughs> in ad in uh, anxiousness. And stepping I, in... I wouldn't have started with that. <laughs> uh, what stepping. Do you mean? Stepping in, you uh, see the interior is very well kept with like uh, dark stone walls and like the floor is um, uh, hard wood, uh, hard um, dark wood. And you can see that like the, the walls have like stained glass windows, uh, similar to the bridge uh, with koi fish just swimming around. But you can also see in the ceiling there is like koi fish um, swimming above. 
and they have a, they they light they they're what casting light down on the um on the hallway you guys are in and you you go through many winding corridors as uh, and up many flights of steps every now and then and like your feet if they weren't already hurting they are screaming right now after as soon as you reach uh, this door but it feels like for another hour that you've been walking as you like make your way through the the castle um the school portion of the castle and you find yourself uh, at a door um give me a second uh, you find yourself at a door that has two doorknobs one uh in the normal position and one is at shin level and um uh, the the assistant uh, uh tutor knocks on the door uh professor uh, we have some people that uh, have questions about the world weave. Uh, it it seems urgent. Um, and you see the door click, and then he just um, the assistant opens the door and then uh, lets you guys in. And um, was there any questions you want to ask Pymera, like on on the on the walk there? Uh, I, was just, I was just wondering. Um... <laughs> We might have revealed too much. <laughs> too I mean, fast. it's not like the city got swallowed. It was a hypothetical question. I don't really know. know. But... I told them, I mean, you know. When you guys say that, like, you when when you guys were walking, you noticed uh, the assistant would walk faster every time you mentioned <laughs> more information. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like, it's not a, it's not a lot, you know. It just, okay, you know. it's it's dangerous, but we're trying to figure out how to, to you know. We just need not to know how to fix that. it. When uh when you enter this new room, you see that uh it's a well kept office uh, that's lavishly furnished and with many plant pots atop bookshelves and desks. Uh, you can see ladders on each bookshelf, and the desks are very small. Um, and you notice the desk at the center of the room is very small. Uh, and you can see like there's a s tiny stool in front of that desk, and you can see there's a few stools on the side of the wall. And you can see a larger desk off in one of the corners, um, and that looks to be like have a bunch of like, apparatus and plants and books uh, piling on top of that. And uh, as soon as and as like you reach this um, this desk at the center, you see sitting behind it a um, a tiny two foot tall man. Um, a tiny two foot tall fur bulk man who I'm going to put up on stream uh, so you guys can see what he looks like. Um, he is, uh, his his face uh, and like his skin, well, it, it, you wouldn't call it skin, it's like wool. And like it's like very uh, woolly. His face is very woolly and his hands are woolly. And he's got, and you see him just like waving a tail around that has a um, well kept mane um, that's been brushed on, uh, on the tail. Uh, you notice that his hair is combed over as well and is very well kept. Um, as you can see, his eyes are extremely tired. And he looks just he just looks at you all very lazily with uh, tired green eyes. As you see, his um, although like his shirt and his trousers are very plain, his socks, tie and his blazer all have like um, blue stars, uh, a blue star pattern on them. And they all just glimmer and twinkle as a... As he's just like looking over some papers and then sees you all sit and come by. Please, please, please sit. Well, uh, we there's some stay, there's some stools over there if you wanna if you would like it uh, if you'd like another chair. Uh, I'm okay. I will stand. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I just want to walk over to the bookshelf. Go ahead. Uh, as you uh, as you guys <laughs> step in, he stands up. How how can I, how can I help you all? Uh. See, we're in, we're looking for some information on uh, the world weave. Uh, I was wondering if oh, you yes. could tell how, us how, how can I help? What do you know about the world weave? Because we don't have a lot of information about it. Well, I mean, as head conjuration wizard, I I'd imagine I'd know the most that you could find here in Isoto. Well, we know it's uh, it's it's the in between world from the material plane, which is where we're at, and then other world, which is where uh, the the spirits and ghosts go, uh, the dead, if you will. We we here in the middle. I mean, sorry, on the material plane, we um, we 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 connect with the weave through everything we do. When we touch a leaf, when we touch a rock, when we when we take a walk, we we are constantly touching the weave, and um. Uh. Are you the head of abjuration or conjuration? Conjuration. The weave, uh, the weave would fit under my category of magic. Oh, so, so 
Or would you say it's like dangerous or like? Nah. Oh, the assistant. No, I, I, I don't know why he was with you. He, well, the weave itself, I'd imagine, it wouldn't be dangerous. I mean, we're still researching into the weave, but like. What if there were holes? His what eyes was... immediately oh, like look less tired and more alert. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, what if there were holes? Terrorists? Yeah, like in in our if if there were holes into uh, into the weave. Off. Yeah, the material plane would uh, potentially collapse in on in on the weave. I'd imagine. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> I mean, if you like walk in there and then like walk back out of it, then like Lou's gonna oh, sit down. <laughs> Yes, yes, please sit, please sit this. Yes, it's, it's a very heavy topic. Hello, Hannah. But yes, um, when, when, when you were, if there were a potential hole in the weave, the, if the, the webbing was damaged, um, then essentially the, the material plane would collapse in on itself and on, on the reversal side of that, we'd imagine the uh, other world would collapse in on itself and then pull itself out from in, from within the weave and almost flip upside down. But in be inside out at the same time, it's it'd be a very tricky situation. It's all hypothetical, of course, but like we'd imagine it'd be catastrophic. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, right, right. Um, no, not not that your situation. Your situation, I, I, I am very highly suspect of. But this is me going off studies, my, my well, personal studies. We're just wondering, um, like, are, are there such locations where the world weave has genuinely been visible to everybody, like? Uh, well, I mean, to anyone who would stumble across it. Not to our knowledge, we've we've had to we've had to cast uh, plane hopping magic to even get a chance to glance at the weave, and that's only hmm. for the barest of a second. Well, where was I got stuff? news for you? <laughs> Step into it. Where, Ex where do people do plane hopping? Excuse me. Plane you can't hopping. Just, like, yeah, like step into it. Like if there was a hole and you just like boop, you know, and then no, no, no. So like, um, firstly, I'll, I'll get to, I'll get to you, little girl, in a second about your y the situation I'm hearing from you right now. This is <laughs> terrifying, if you will. Um, but please, please, it's everyone sit. <laughs> sure, sh surely hypothetical. But yes. <laughs> so, and you, you seem just someone like magical, like um, like a magical demonstration, and he just shows that like so this. This would be our plane, and he just shows a door. And then when I open that door, you see the threshold? The inside of that threshold would be the weave. So as soon as I step through that door, I have passed through the weave into the other side. And that's like I'd find myself on a different plane completely. But like, the weave, fall. we physically can't interact with. It's, it's, I'd imagine fairly, like we've, all the magic we've tried, no one, no one has been able to. In your oh. demonstration, you could technically, um, say you miss the door because you're, you're clumsy. And walk you into could... the wall? Uh, yeah, like, let's just say that, like, you tripped uh, into the door and it, like, fell and then the door hole got bigger. <laughs> then, um, but then you'd still be on the other plane. That doesn't make sense. Like the... Well, yeah, but then, like, what if you just came back? Then, yeah, you'd, 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 you'd once again, you'd cross the threshold. The weave being the threshold. <laughs> But yeah, so what would you there be that? any circumstances where it would that we could that would cause it to expand? What circumstances would it make it expand? A theory is if and you see like the door loses its hinges and then falls off its hinges. So uh, in the in the magical demonstration that like he's just creating in air in front of you guys, he's got to yeah. look up to you guys. You know he's very small. He's just a bit shorter than you, love, <laughs> but he's tiny compared to everyone else because you guys are like. Th three times his height as his tail his tail like waves very anxiously or behind him as he's like uh, speaking and he's gesticulating very uh, frantically if like let's say the the, the door fell uh, and there was no nothing holding holding the thing holding the the world together then maybe hypothetically it'd stretch and break and upon breaking the the rooms that are on both sides would fall into each other and break and it'd be, as mentioned, catastrophic. Uh, mm -hmm. Before oh. any one, any more of you asking more, more questions, because like I, this is, I feel uh, like you, you're beating around the bush here. But the little girl. Is there a way to put the door back on? Yeah, hypothetically, how do we put the door back? He, he holds his mouth as uh, like he's uh, trying to think, and starts <laughs> biting his nails. Possibly. Um. Actually, let, so what if it 
um, what if it's not a door, but what if, uh, <clears throat> what if it was like, uh, I don't know, like a big knife and it just like cut? Excuse me? Oh. Like oh. a big pair of scissors. Yeah, like, like you would just like sew it back together. Yeah. I mean, maybe, but like, we we but, don't know how to do how that. How would we go about doing that? We don't know. Uh, if we... Well, it's, it's, it's would anyone we, know? We research. Not to my knowledge, as a, as one of the head conjuration wizards on uh, on on the globe, Say I we knew of a location where 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 there would be. Uh, um, okay, okay, um, we're beating around the bush. Oh yes, you definitely are. I'm I'm trying to get the little girl to answer because she clearly is the one that has her head on stake <laughs> in regard to the situation. So there's a couple of holes in the world we have a few days travel from here. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, we may have come across a cave. Okay, with, okay, okay. Um, people, people, calm down, calm down. As he looks very <laughs> agitated. Can I, can, calm I down. Try and play like, can I play like a calming song? You can. Roll performance for me. <laughs> I know, I'm freaking okay. out. Okay, everyone, we're gonna relax and we're gonna we're gonna all take our seats. Seats, please. As Lo, you start playing the calm music. He, you notice his tail sway a lot. I'm a lot more gentler. Okay, thank you, thank, thank you. Uh, what's your, what's your name, child? Uh, my name's Lou Nico. Oh, oh, you, yes, you, your future does shine very bright. That's, yes, with, with that, you. with that performance that you're doing, there, amazing. Yes, keep, keep playing, please. Um, okay, okay, everyone seated. Everyone, everyone, relax. Everyone, calm. You look, you don't look calm. Stop, don't look agitated. It's okay. It's okay. I said it's okay. Okay. It's okay, sir. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. No, yes, it's, it's more than fine. This is, this could be a breakthrough in my research. Actually, some would say. No, it's. Uh, I'm not panicking. No I'm not extremely no. stressed and anxious about this right now. We, we just need. We no, just need to talk. Job. I think. I think we can kind of explain what's going on, and I'm gonna say stay calm for the sake of it, but we might need to worry. Um, yes. 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 Indeed. I don't know why we're trying to stay calm right because, now. This is a very, no, very difficult no, no, situation. No, no. Sit down, please. Okay. Hear out, hear out what I have to... Okay, I'll sit down, but... Um... Thank you. Okay, before you speak, let me speak. How close is this? It's... As he begins uh... writing down, like, ready to write down. A couple days, yeah? Couple days? Uh, what? Couple days south. Couple days south, okay, okay. Um... Yeah, it's basically um, just, I think, west of Amidaka. One of the temples? Yeah, the one uh, closest to Amidaka. Huh, I, okay. I Temple near Amidaka, uh, west. Yes, okay, okay. Um, any more information um, you can give me on this location? Okay. Well, it was I, in a cave, but cave. when we left it was kind of coming out of the cave. Yeah, Goodness. there's a giant pirate ship over there on the ground. He writes oh, no, more aggressively. Oh, no, it's not there anymore. That's not there anymore? It's, no, no, basically, in the last... In 24 hours, it went from, like, a small hole, like, let's say, my hand, to, like... Almost the whole cave. Yeah, goodness, so maybe, goodness, like, cave. goodness. Two hundred times my hand. Okay, 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 okay. This is okay, this is okay. Don't calm down, calm down, calm down. Please, please keep also, playing music. Um, uh, I, I'm gonna keep playing music. Uh, okay. <laughs> we also... Um, it seems that if yokai touch it, they get corrupted. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Uh, it's hmm. like uh, regular people don't get corrupted if they go in it. You know. Huh. Um, interesting. The, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna, we're gonna slow down. We're gonna slow down. We're gonna slow down. We're gonna slow down. How exactly did you come into contact with this weave? Well, we I mean, were investigating the cave because of because of the yokai for the for Tahashi Temple. Because they've um, yes, yes, yes. taken some children um, from the temple, um, and we we also found uh, like um, this mold for like some big scissors, a uh, bit like this one she pulls out. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just as showing, you pull out. Yeah, as you pull it out, like, <laughs> why is that? Why is it? Why have you got a big scissor? Is, oh, is this scissor? It there. We oh no no no! Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! It makes holes. 
Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> look, I'm gonna uh, look. Let's just. I'm gonna hold up my shield. Uh, you you do a little demonstration towards me, and I'm gonna just hit your like, shield. Make yeah, I'm gonna protect what you would hit if okay. you were to hit anything. But okay, yeah, all right. Are you sure it's safe? Maybe yes, are you, you sure it's safe? Hole and throw something through it, like last this time. This is a demonstration. Oh yeah, uh yeah, I'll do. I could do that. I'll just, uh yeah yeah. Whatever first. Yeah no. So just aim, but, aim it at me. Okay. Roll an attack with Bill Race. Could yeah? Could you roll an attack with Bill Race for me? Snipper. Yeah, snipper. Fifteen. Oh. And then if you want to roll a um, I can't remember if you like try to roll the damage for me. Let me see what happens. I can't remember if like that like does. If it rolls it like that. Yeah, it does. Five. Okay. So as as you slash uh, uh, low uh, low uh, low five boys uh, shield, nothing happens. This is. Uh, oh. Well, that's useful. What? Okay. Well, when it was in there and then we pulled it out, it did some stuff. When? Wait, well, why don't you try again? Uh no no I um. Yes, I mean, if, <laughs> are you saying this is dangerous? Even no, even no, like no, I, no, well, I, no, I, I would. You? Wait, 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 you were well, I'm not the one that has the big scissors. To to okay, I'll put it away. I'll put it away. I'll so put it back. Please, no, no, listen. don't, don't pull it away. Put listen it, put, me. put it on the desk, please. And he just clears no, no, his, he throws time. everything off his please. desk. <laughs> one more time. Go, Harry. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it again. All right. Um, dude. No, Sorry. stop swinging it. Stop. <laughs> it's my office. <laughs> just give it a go. Um, uh, oh, that, that's the wrong thing. Uh. <laughs> Can I roll damage for me? Roll the damage. Uh, Bill Race again? Yeah. And... Uh, Nothing happens uh, again. I, I, what about it's please. very volatile. Pl <laughs> this, this, I, I'm very... This, please, please put it down. Please put it on the desk. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can put it... I, well, like if you want these holes in the world fixed, I I, I would rather you put it down so I can assess. Okay. This, this oh, seems very. That's this seems very dangerous, and I don't think yeah. swinging it in my office is a very smart idea, no, madam. Yes. Okay, I'll put it down. Oh no. I don't oh, need to oh. tell you. You you came to me. I'm the expert. You should be giving me everything. Okay. I'll and let me ask ask the questions. Here. Please put it down. Here you go. Um, uh, she just places it gently on the table. Okay, uh, okay. Writing in here, I think it says Billrays. Yeah, he's he's looking over it and like he. <laughs> it says Billrays. It means snipper in in ancient Sheen. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. 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 Uh, and he keeps like just like waving his hands around. Keeps, like every now and then, like, he'll like you see like this like stars swirl around. Same with like this on his suit that he just like swirl around his um around Billrays. Assessing it. Um, every now and then you see the stars like move off of Bill Rays and circle around you, Lacera, for a second. Mm. Um, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So we, we have we have the information on how you got into contact with the Weave. Okay. okay. Uh, we, we, we know. We, we Did it have any, any effects on you as a, as a, any, anyone specific? Anything happened when you interacted with the Weave? Well, they seem to kind of glitch. Pimera's head Excuse glitched me? off for a bit. <laughs> well, when they went to retrieve time. Bill Rays, um, when they went to retrieve Bill Rays, they kind of glitched and they apparently felt fine themselves, but uh, from the outside looking at them, they were all like higgledy piggledy and kind of oh, broken um, and fuzzy. One hmm. other thing um, I may have forgotten to mention um, when I went close to the World Weave, it it felt really I really didn't like the feel of it. It felt really off. And what 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 what, what do you mean off? What, what what describe? Well, it felt like everything in my body was rejecting it and like uh I was just going through uh, Interesting. Interesting. Cuz this ripples. this snippers here doesn't seem to be rejecting you. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's okay. We're calm. We're calm. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Hmm. 
can I ask him if he has a favorite song? <laughs> yes, it's uh, it's what's it called? It's it's called Strawberry Key Cream by the brand Oreo. Do you know? Can you play that? Are you do you know that song? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I should do that. Real performance for me. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. This is okay. Oh no. <laughs> you try playing it, but like you haven't heard the song in a while. It's been a while since you listened to the radio and heard it on the radio. So you're just like, you're doing your, you're doing your absolute darndest. But every now and then you hit a few bum notes, and like he's humming along, but like he's like, him being anxious is also adding to it, and like he's throwing you off. So you kind of like, you like you feel like you're like it's you're justified in like how badly, you, well, not how badly, how like. Average the anxiety. Yeah, exactly. Your, his 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 anxiety is oozing off into you, not towards you. Um. Okay. 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 So this it affects you very badly, but this 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 connects to you. You seem to be higgledy piggledy, or one of you is higgledy piggledy when it affects you. Okay. Hmm. Oh it, no! It didn't. It I so I <laughs> so I went into it. Yes. To get the stuff and yes. i was fine but they looking yes. at me i looked funky but i wasn't really they, i mean hmm. you your uh parts of you were like meters away from yourself mm -hmm. yeah yeah but no i was definitely still connected to my I think body. Was, like cube at one point oh, it's okay. kind of like oh. you know when you put a mirror in front of another mirror and it just creates infinite copies yes that's, that's what happens when like sometimes you enter the mirror plane Oh, oh, well, I mean, it kind of looked like that, but instead of, like, a fixed thing, it was, like, as if we were watching her fall through all the mirror planes. Hmm. Like, cracked, like, to split into multiple different mirror planes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, okay, we're gonna... Okay. Uh... No, I was totally cool and fine. Hmm. Yeah, okay. it was actually... I think holding your hand. He the because we have to help her get there. Mm. The stars stop swirling around Bill Ray's and Lucera for a second. Okay, hmm. madam, what's your name? As he point, as he like uh, waves his hand in front of Lucera. Uh, me. Um, yes. I'm Lucera. Okay. Hmm. Is it okay if I ask you some more questions? I uh, um I think this may involve uh some more research. And potentially an investigation. Yes, that's okay. Um, sure. That Wait, like what right. kind of investigation? Because last time somebody said that they took some of our people away. Well, that we're going to is... have to clearly look into this, this hole in the world for the situation. As it, this seems catastrophic. And if this were to collapse, it could, it could, it could, it could, it could, it could cause our entire, in, our entire universe to fall in on itself. I think this, this investigation is... It's extremely serious, is what it is. Okay. Um, what do you need me to do then? Just. Well, we, we will have to. We will have to go to Shiadamaru, Miho. Wait, but I I can't leave, right? Uh, it's not. You sure you can't stay here? I'll be. Is there? Oh, Shiadamaru. Well, where, where the... is that? Uh, you the Sh Shiadamaru Miho. That is Mi Lord Miho. She is the Lord of Isato. Okay. Oh, so it's the person, not the place. Okay. Yes, she's she. This is her castle. She. I so, I, I was a head conjuration wizard uh, appointed by her. Okay, so we're not leaving this place. All right. Um. No, no. You, we, you, you will, you will, we, you, you'll be able to. We'll have to ask some questions with her and her and the court, and see okay. if. Uh, right now. Well, I, I believe she is currently in in a, in an important meeting, but uh, some at some point today, yes. Um, okay. But but like I mean, it it like we will have to be as urgent as we can physically make it. So uh, we we will have to go actually. Um, and uh, you you three um point to uh, Loni uh, Lo uh, Lo Fi Boy Lonico and Pimera. Um, would you be okay with answering questions at a later date as well? Of course. Sure. Yeah. Where, I mean... uh, where, where 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 can we contact you? Where where are you staying? Are you do you live in the city? Oh, at the Adventurers Guild, but not we're not adventurers yet. 
Oh, well, we're staying at the adventurer's route. Is, is yeah, there a name I, I could ask for? I need to stop there. Um, I didn't up under Primaris name, right? I think it was actually well, a they ask for identification. Uh, you could ask, I think, for... I mean, I guess my identification is easy to identify. Yeah, because you get right? barcode. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. be easy. Oh, so, I... I, I mean, I don't carry a barcode scanner. Is there a name I could ask for? And he I looks, he looks, it's, uh, he looks it's to be very rushed as he's just preparing his boy, stuff. But it's just ask for the cat lady and the robot, and they'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Ten five eighty Y. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, La Sarah, uh, we. If you could follow me. Um, thank you. Uh, the rest of you for letting me know about this situation. Uh, I will have to get into contact with you very shortly. Um, come, come. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you out before we. As, 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 as I'm gonna have to head that way anyway. Come, come. Okay. Come. Let me grab the uh, worries quickly. Please, please. You, we will need that. Okay. I'm taking it. Uh, just grab it right it now. Uh, I. I, I'm assuming it's just for a few questions. I guess we can wait for you in the garden. Yeah. Right? Well, we. I have no clue how this will be. How long this will take. This. How. Okay, how long are you talking, boys? I. Well, so I, just... I don't know when her meeting finishes. I don't know how long they'll, they'll ask you how many questions they, they'll want to ask. But I, I, this, I don't think this is something worth waiting for. So we'll have to. Uh, skedaddle. how can we come? Like, I, I'm not sure if you'll be allowed entry, uh, but I, I mean, I could ask. Yeah, I mean, that would be nice. Just so we have at least a, an estimation of the time so that we can meet up a bit yeah, just, more. They could come and wait outside and then if we could just ask the person you're waiting for, right? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't believe they allow loitering outside the castle walls, but... Uh, but yes, um, but like I, I, I will ask you, uh, ask if you're allowed in. Um, but yes, okay. Um, but as like he's saying that, like he's rushing you guys like toward, like out of the castle and like uh, towards the um, the actual castle walls. Yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, I requested meeting uh, with Shiomaru, um, Shiodamaru, uh Miho um, from uh, Professor Yuri Akatsu uh, regarding a very urgent. Um, world ending situation potentially um well don't say it like that i mean uh, we'll have to we have to we have to call it how he is um are we she also ha um and there's a, she'll have to meet someone um from the outside uh la Sarah show here um her friends uh will they be allowed to enter and the guard just looks at them um and you like pardon i said primarily like finger waves at him <laughs> they can us a wave <laughs> Just he just looks you over. Blankly. Also, just like hopefully, he just looks between, uh, looks back and forth between everyone. <laughs> are, they, are they are they are they necessary for the investigation? Um, I don't I don't think so. Uh, uh... The, the main situation clearly is with uh, Lacera here, but uh, I have access to I I am able to be in contact with with her friends. And the guard just nods. Okay. Nope. You're not. Uh, you'll be allowed to wait. Well. Uh, but we'll have to get into contact with you if we need you. Okay. Does that mean? Well, but I, I will be able to return to the the adventures guild and I don't know join. The so. um, the guard looks at uh, the professor, and he the professor just looks at you, and he just shrugs. I I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. Oh, that's not helpful. Um. I mean, what's... like. My what well, I the outcome I would prefer is to bring you along with the investigation because you clearly seem to be very in tune with the situation. But uh, okay, um, if you, so I, I mean, it sounds like something that's quite important. That yes, is, is extremely. That I mean, obviously, yeah. Um, maybe, maybe I should, but uh. Would that mean this would be the last time I get to see the others, or? Yuri, uh, the professor looks very sad when uh, when you say that, and as as he also just shrugs again. I I, I, I don't I don't know. I'd hope not. I mean, for but... today, at least. Maybe. Or... For, uh... Uh... It's just like if if you leave the city, just just 
we'll, we'll, we'll still have to figure out what's happening with Rocky, so, you know. Just um, fill him in on it, I guess. Yes, of course. I'd, I mean, I, I, I will. I will. Uh, so like when, when I'm leaving, I will, I will, I will alert them and like, ask them more questions. Should should it be necessary? If if the interview with the the Lord isn't uh, doesn't doesn't I mean, give you enough answers, is it, is it possible to see Lucera before she would be summoned elsewhere? I I, I think this this may this may be it for today. I, I'd imagine. Uh, what about tomorrow? Yeah, that's my question. Yeah, well, what about the, the week or this this the, this, yeah, this, this matter? Like, tell us if she's gonna like not if, come back. I I I am I am unaware. I I as I said, my my desired situation would be that like we as soon as our meeting is finished with the Lord, we would leave the city immediately to go fix the situation. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, will you notify us if you do have to go? We will. Okay. I guess okay. we'll just. Considering the urgency of this situation, then I guess we'll just see you later before, before whatever this. Happens. Before we leave the city. Oh, and before if we leave the city, we don't know yet. So, um, if we could just meet back. Um, the professor, um, when he sees you, like trying to say goodbye, essentially, like and um, like even like in this like one like, organized meeting, he'll just step away with the guard as a. And give, give you guys some room and space. It's, it, wait, so this is... It's just you guys. What? You just you four this now. Is... Just you four at the uh, the castle door. Oh, this is too fat. Wait, I, I I mean, I understand that I have to go away, but I, I don't want to say goodbye to you guys yet. You know? Um, it's... It's, I mean, it's, I, I have, I guess I'm gonna have to go from the looks of things, and... Is it um, because you attuned to Bill Ray's? Either that, and I I mean, also the fact I, I guess I re I'm the only one, you know, like, I, I couldn't stand being near the, 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 the rips in the world right. leagues. That, that was... Yeah. Like, I, I couldn't be close to it, but, um, who am I going to get closer from the looks of things? Um, <laughs> but I I guess it might look like I might have to go, because, I mean, we saw that. That was not, not looking good. I, I don't even know if it's continued expanding. I think it might have. But, yeah, um. Uh, I'm gonna miss you guys. I I don't know if I get to oh. say bye afterwards or not. Um. Uh. Wait. Wait. Hang on a second. But. Uh. Lo. Lo. Um. Uh. Do I need to give like guardian papers to Lo-Fi Boy and and Primera? Um. I mean, like, mega gaming wise. Like yeah, like I'd, I'd assume like if like you if you felt like this was going to be like like you 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 essentially be handing over guardianship to or even like writing up another form, giving them permission yeah. to be considered guardians for uh, Lo Lonika. She just like uh, gets out her um, guardian papers, like hands shaking. Um, I, I I mean I don't know, but like you know, just in case. Um, uh, could one of you take this? Lo's just like been standing very straight and like her little fists are in like the edges of her dress. And she's just gonna like take a deep breath and then just launch herself at the Sarah's legs and like <laughs> big hug them <laughs> and like bury her face in her stomach because it's like the level her head's at. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah just gives uh, Lo just a big hug. She's like, like. Uh... Squeeze hug. <laughs> she's just like, oh. oh, and she's just like, you're, you're gonna do great, Lucera, and you're gonna fix, you're gonna fix the world, and and you're gonna be, gonna be a hero. And you too, you're gonna uh, continue with your, your training, and 
I mean, you've got these two, so at least I know I'm not leaving you late alone or fully. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll be okay. Back. Yeah. It'll be alright. <laughs> we, we she's just gonna, yeah, she's gonna take a little step back and she's gonna, because she's got the crystal flower in her hair, but she's also got the two spider lilies, so she's gonna take one of those spider lilies and she's gonna hand it to Lysera. Lysera just uh, takes it gently and like um, uses one of her gets takes off one of her wrist ribbons and ties it to the horn that she'd taken her ribbon off earlier from and then she takes off the other <laughs> ribbon she'd say you can help but just keep this I, I don't know if Shiki's gonna keep hers um, Shiki you do know is, is still with you guys <laughs> and just jingling away. Uh, she looks very sad when she jingles this time. But she's jingling at like in, like cir- uh, like circles around uh, Lacera's feet. Oh, Shiki, you're not helping. You're so cute. She's looking for a little pet. <laughs> Liz's just gonna like, sniff and like just put the flower and be like, oh, good luck. You're, you're gonna be great. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You, you've got this because amazing with your music and I'll 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 make my way back. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, um sorry, go on. and no um, fight, uh um, you Yeah. You know, uh, I was about to say we we often talk in awkward way in awkward ways. Uh, uh, in awkward <laughs> ways. Awkward ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh I get what you mean. Yeah, um... Uh, the awkward conversation. <laughs> yeah, um, but I just wanted to say that, um, I don't know, still in your, in our, in our, in the awkwardness of it all, that it, it's, it's still a good thing. Like, like, I think, well, yeah. so, it's- you know, like, I was made for uh, 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 something like for gardening, and then that didn't go very well. But it led you to, it led me to to, to meet all of you. So in the end, I guess what I'm trying to say is that like, if whatever happens, I think I think there might be a, a reason for the stuff that happens and. And you know, like, I'm pretty sure that like, if if things happen the way they do, in the end, like, meeting you has made it better, even if it doubled the awkwardness for me, <laughs> since I, I provide awkwardness already, but anyways, so, um, oh, I guess- Thank you for being my awkward buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll give you a hug. Hugs. <laughs> Me too. And like very melodically and awkwardly. <laughs> awkwardly hug you. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And um, Pyvera, love your awkwardness. Say, say bye to Queen for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I, I need a hug too for you. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> you too. Oh, look after Lou, and I, I, I think you're you're gonna do great. I will make and... sure little girl talks to you every day in her brain. <laughs> will send you letters and 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 I don't know stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, make it send oh. you leaves. <laughs> if you like leaves. Uh, maybe the flower part. Uh, no, it's okay. Keep your leaves for your flowers. I think they need them. <laughs> but okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> but, um... Uh, um is- and that's like you uh, finish, um, like, hugging Pymera. Um, your, uh, the Professor Yuri comes, um... Uh, <laughs> Oh, what? Um, um, he stops um, in this place. Wait. <laughs> uh, just come back, Lissara. I just had a 
idea. Come back. Okay, okay, what is it? She was still there. She didn't. Uh, she never moved. I... <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I thought I was thinking ahead, but uh, you're already there. And anyways, um, I just, uh, like, I, okay, so metagaming now. I just want to, like, do an arcana check to see if I can feel her vibe. So Wrong. that... Wrong yeah. insight. Because I... Insight? Yeah, that's insight. Insight is, like... Did you say karma? Like, 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 like a vibe. Insight, that, like, insight's vibe check. An ar oh, no, arcana. No, 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 no. I said an arcana. Yeah, to see her magical vibe. Oh yeah, go on, go on. Roll, like, roll arcana. For to me. see, yeah. Okay. You, there's too much magic coming off the wizard school nearby that you can't mm. like. It's fucking any like magical receptors you have. Okay. Uh, well, I, I know I interrupted, but. Um, I guess, um, uh, yeah. It's okay. I, um. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, the, it's the, yeah. uh, wait, I, I'm gonna make, uh, um, uh, how about this? Oh, yeah, this. Oh. Uh, take this Rotsalak Aster Seed. If you, oh. if you plant it and, and and take care of it. Um, I think, well, since there are seeds from my body, I, there is some kind of connection, I think, I have to it, uh, as opposed to just any flower. Any normal seed. So, it, it, I mean, if you take care of it and, and it, it blooms, like, I think you'll know, or I'll know, that, like, you know, things are... Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll do that because that would be really nice. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'll um, just take the seat. Thank you. As I, you um. I don't care for it. As like as like you get handed that seed, uh, the professor then realizes he can step forward, and then he um. The doors open, and then he um, he asks you to join, uh, step forward and join him as. You can just about see the inside of the castle's uh, uh, entrance, which is this grand, lavish um, art deco, essentially. What's the word? Like chamber. Uh, chamber, I'd say. With like a oh. bunch of like lavish glass and paintings along the wall. Um, but as soon as like you get in, um, guided in, the door is shut behind, behind you. And then the guard just stands in front of the, the the door and then just looks at the three of you. And then just gives you all a nod. And um And then we're gonna end the session there. Um But yeah. Uh thanks uh <laughs> the Turfoot for the raid. We you just raised on the uh the final scene of the session. Um But and uh, our first session of the year. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it short there for um, because I think uh, we're gonna wanna hang out after this for a second because um, this is uh, Lucera's last session. Thank you, uh, thank you, Beth. Um, yeah, if you wanna check everyone uh, out on their socials, um, I don't know if it's Sam, if you're, I believe you. Can't remember if you're linked. Oh, it does. The kind of works amazing. Uh, you can check Sam out over on his Twitch if he whenever he streams. Uh, Sophie's art, you can check uh, her amazing art over on um, Instagram. And she also is going to be starting streaming her art again soon. Yeah, um, very soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's Georgia, who also does amazing art. And she is also a uh, fabulous jeweler. So, and I recommend checking mm -hmm. out her jewelry <laughs> over on Instagram and her Etsy shop. There is I have Beth. a D&D series this year. She does. Oh, no, they look stunning. <laughs> <laughs> there is also Beth. Um, and she does amazing. She makes amazing maps, and you should check her out um, as Lady Nim on Instagram and Twitter. Is it Lady Nim on Instagram? I can't uh, remember. Yes. One of them. I just recently changed it. Ooh. Uh, we should love it. Oh. Thank you for retweeting at the stream, John, and thank you for uh, following as well, Ty. Uh, thank you, Vix, for the resub. Uh, sorry, I didn't get to welcome you guys in. If uh, you want to keep up to date with the streams and join us on next session, which will be session 10, you can join the Discord. If you want to catch up on the stream, you can check out the VODs over on YouTube. 
Um, and if you want to check out more of my art, you can check it over here. Uh, we're going to go raid Zach the DM, uh, my um, my it mirror twin. It is Lady um, Nim. Perfect. <laughs> I, I changed it and I... Yeah. Know. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, we're going to go raid um, Zach the DM, so we're going to get uh, give him some vibe checks. Uh, but yeah, awesome. thank you guys for thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the stream earlier on and giving us a level two hype train at the beginning. I'm um, sorry that like this ending seems a bit hasty. It's just uh, we we want to just just take a step back for a minute. And, like we weren't intending on having a break at this moment because but because of how long the session ran, we're gonna we're gonna finish up here. But you will catch us next session on the. Let me check my calendar because I can't remember days. The 23rd of uh, January, um, 8 p.m. GMT, uh, as always. Um, and we'll be doing another session of Throne Top Sands. But you, if you want to catch me again doing art, I shall be streaming tomorrow with Big Tilly, uh, starting the D&D Twitch Sticker Club. So um, if you want to check that out, you can. Over on, um, over over here uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, same time as this... Uh, as, 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 as it is, 8 p.m. GMT. I'm going to be moving all my streams to the evening. Uh, but that's everything. So uh, we're going to say bye. We're going to... Bye. Bye. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. See you.